Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a project share demo. Well, not really a demo, but we're going to make a card. It is a let's make a card video because I am going to make a card. Um, but I also wanted to show you, um, I've been, um, well, not only on one of these cards, but uh, I've been playing with this and I've been doing flowers. This is the We Are Memory Keeper Air uh, Cordless Airbrush Marker Pen. Cordless airbrush marker pen I think oh gosh hold on okay it's the cordless marker airbrush <laughs> by we are memory keeper and it comes in a box like this it looks like this it has a um, little mini usb port on the back um comes with this little cord that charges it um which is the cordless part of it um and uh, you just plug this into if you have an outlet that takes usb or you just get a little plug that has a USB adapter on the back of it and you plug it like an old cell phone charger plug um, and this will work there. So um, basically though, um, uh, on the last time I used this, um, I was telling you that you could use it to um, enhance your flowers. And so I wanted to show you uh, that technique of doing that. This was a white flower uh, that came in a little pack like this. I think these are little birdie uh, flowers, but you can actually get, you know, Michael sells them, Joanne sells them, uh, scrapbook.com sells little white flowers. And so if you didn't want to make your own small floral embellishments, um, you could get white flowers and then you could alter them with this airbrush pen and do your own. Like that was a white flower. Uh, let's see, this was a white flower. Um, these were flowers that I had already made in the pink, but, um, look at, uh, look at this. So I edged them in black with the black ink, that arrow brush marker with the black ink and look how pretty that is. Aren't those just lovely? Look at that. It just, it adds such a depth. And so I had made this card a little while ago and it was still in my stash and, um, so I was, it, I first got the pen and I was like trying it out. And so I, I threw a little, um, black on the outside of this. And then on this middle square, I edged it in the pink or the magenta that comes in it and thought that was like really cool. So then I had these flowers left over from doing, um, some of these projects. And, um, so I edged the flowers and like, look how much that pops, like adding that black detail to the, the edge of the flower petals, like, right and so added a little bit more. This one got a little dark. I was still practicing, you know, um, but still like how beautiful. I mean, these are gorgeous. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful card and threw some on the little, you know, it got onto the little Anna Griffin, uh, gold foil embellishments. And so, um, yeah, I just thought like, and so this was a pink flower. I edged it in pink to make the petals darker and then threw some black on it to give it a little more depth and thought wow these came out but now these these were all white these all these flowers I puffed them up added some lunar paste to the edges and the stamens on the center and um used that pen uh to turn these into a colorful flowers and thought that is just super fun and so I was going to show you how to do that um, like, right? Because it, it, and it takes practice. And now if you look at these flowers, they're not perfect because it's airbrush. It is a splotchy, like variegated pattern on there. So it's not as smooth. It's not smooth like inking, but it's quick and they're still super gorgeous. So even if you've already made a bunch of flowers in your stash and you wanted to add a little bit of like they needed a little more depth, you could highlight them in the pink, uh, like a darker color than what you used and just, you know, do a little variegation or you could add the black and give it a little bit more depth to get a different style or a different look to your flowers. So I just wanted you to, I just wanted to show you that and like how gorgeous, right? And so, um, I was going to show you how to do that today, but I was playing with stencils too, cause I was going to run the airbrush through this uh, stencils and show you how awesome it worked in the stencils and um basically I used it on this um so if you have like a stencil that's kind of finicky you like the pattern of it or the design but it's not necessarily the most user-friendly like uh this one uh the hanging dot stencil from stamps of life the background stencil on this is uh 
leaves a lot to be desired in user friendliness. Um, the dotted portion of it works beautiful. Um, it's just that initial layer that is not not the most not not the most the easiest thing to use, but. Uh, however, used in conjunction with your cordless airbrush, look how pretty. Isn't that great? I did both layers with the airbrush and look how lovely that is. Isn't that just so fun? So this is using a couple of Stamps of Life's uh, 4th of July uh, sets that they have. Stamps of Life Stitch Stars, um, some Anna Griffin, uh, matte foil, Sizzix, uh, silver glitter paper, and I just thought this came out like just super fun, right? Just a fun 4th of July uh, greeting card. Um, so some of the other stencils I used, but not with this. Um, I was just having fun with stencils. Um, this is the Stamps of Life Sand Dollar stencil. Came with the Sand Dollar Folded and um, used it on the background here, right? How fun is that? Uh, combined it with some Anna Griffin foils and map, uh, foils and papers collections that she has, some of her flowers, and um, then the seashells to stamp and die set from the Stamps of Life, and thought, and then this is the uh, burlap background die from Stamps of Life, and thought, like, right? How pretty, 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 and so that's that stencil on the background, and how fun is that? And then just added the strip I cut off on the inside, and then some pearlescent metallic papers. Um, with those seashells cut out and, and uh, some foil strip there. And pretty, right? Isn't that fun? That stencil is great. And uh, so then this is another uh, Stamps of Life stencil I had. I just got all of these in a haul and wanted to use them. Uh, I love stencils. I, I am a big fan of them. <laughs> I just love them. Uh, so this is the Lemon Citrus stencil. It two-piece stencil. Oh, so this is a two-part stencil. Uh, this one here, two-part stencil. Um, the Sand Dollar is also a two-part stencil, two pieces. Uh, so you get those different details there. Really, really fun. So then this one is a two-part. And I use a Glimmer Paste and um, some oh gilding polish. Some gilding polish and Glimmer Paste on this one here. Like, how fun, right? And then this is the Stamps of Life uh, Lemonade. I think this is the lemonade to stamp set. Made a fun little shaker, uh, cut a straw in half and added it to the inside portion and then the top part of the straw um, to make it, you know, give it that 3D effect and look look like it's a real beverage, right? Like how cute, right? And then um, added a little bit on the inside, right? Um, and so I love this little saying, how fun. Lemonade, crunchy ice, time with you is always nice. Isn't that just fun to send to somebody? I think someone would get a kick out of that. Like really sweet, right? And so there's that stencil. And then this one, oh, this one's so pretty. This is a four part stencil, a floral pattern four pack and uh, from the Stamps of Life. And oh, this uses gilding polish. Oh my goodness. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Um, so this is gilding polish on the flowers and then the little dots are a uh, nouveau crackle mousse i'm pretty sure that's like crackle mousse and uh, so made another little shaker card right how pretty is that um and then this is out of the stamps of life june Ooh, paper pad the the cardstock oh here this is this one this one here so kind collection this paper pad and i I don't know if you can get it on our website or you have to buy the card kit, but it came in a card kit and I think it was the June one. And then like, right, how pretty is that? I love that. Uh, so that's where the papers, the, the papers and these flowers are from are out of that paper pad. And like, right, how pretty, isn't that just so pretty, so fun? Yeah, I love that. And, uh, but anyways, so those stencils are just super, super fun, but I wanted to make another card. I want to do another card and I want to use this one because this one's ornery and I was going to show you how fun it works with the, we are memory keeper cordless airbrush. So let me get these out of the way and, um, let's see, and we'll leave that stencil here. Oh, and I was going to show you how to do the flowers. So doing the flowers as well. And um, it is so fun when you find an, a new gadget that you can use that is really easy to use. Now um, you're kind of you're you're limited on the colors, but if you if you use them with like colored cardstock, it actually um, it actually multiplies the amount of colors you have because obviously when you put it on a colored cardstock, the 
color of the marker actually changes. So whether you're enhancing something that already has color like this flower here and you add the pink on top of it to give it a little more definite definition and then the black to enhance it or you take a white cardstock and you make it your own still super super fun and you can combine colors and things um and it just makes it really neat so uh, let me show you how to do these little flowers so these are just there again some little flowers these little roses I got from probably Joann's or Michael's and uh, basically all I do is I take a pair of tweezers and I just hold them on one of the inner petals like that um, so you have uh, the top part has a slot where you insert a pen so let's go ahead and do pink again whoops and you just want to push it into the top all the way down um, this is your your uh power button to turn the air on to make the marker come out and uh, you want to make sure that uh, before you you have a lot big space of scratch paper because it's air and it's blowing it so it doesn't go on everything else hopefully um so let me get some scratch paper um and um this is just a, a 12 by 12 piece of text weight paper um and then all you do is you just if the farther you hold it out, the lighter the color. So um, it's a little bit loud. Um, so you just press this button. So, but the farther the farther out you go, the lighter it is. And then obviously the farther and the smaller the thing is you're trying to airbrush. Um, it's it's a little bit more delicate to try to get the color on the edges. And so then if you want to like really darken up the, the inside, like I was trying to darken the petals, but I think I'm going to go black on this one since I didn't get that very good. But now I'm going to just blast the center. And you just keep making it as dark. But look at that. So like if you just wanted to turn it all pink without the variegation, there you go. But look how, look how messy, right? So let's throw some black on that. And that is literally just as easy as, um, and so if you want the outside too, you want to make sure to do the underneath the petals as well. Hey, oh, did I push it out? Oh, there we go. I didn't have it pushed all the way in. Whoops. Well, and it makes a funny sound when it's not all the way in. So that, that a little telltale sign, if you don't have it all the way proper, the sound is different which I did not know, so good information. So there you go. Now now if it's on, sitting on your card, it looks like better. And so then let's get the black and enhance it with the black. And then I'll try to do a, get a bigger flower so we can do a little bit of the variegation and have the white still showing. This one was just a little small. Poor choice of flower to try to do that technique on because the smaller ones are hard because it has such a spray big spray pattern. Um, but let's try to get the black on the edge. So... Whoops, see, I'm like holding it out too, away from the flower to get not as much on the flower. But look at that, like, right? Like how much depth that adds to the flower, like when you just add that black on the edges of it, like how pretty. And then we can go and we can add some gold uh, lunar paste to the edges of it and really give it some fun of depth and uh, I just have this little sponge uh, brush here this like little sponge brush and I just dip it in my lunar paste and this is slippery when wet and oh I need my I shouldn't have took it off my tweezers so oh that's not a good spot I want it on the back side like that and then I can just daub it then you just edge it like so with some fun gold and look how pretty I might need a little more of the gold but I mean just what a fun way to get depth on white flowers you can turn in into any color that's in the marker set you know because you can't I've tried finding other markers but look how pretty that is isn't that just beautiful I mean that just a white 
you know, plain flour, and then you can make it to match your project. So, okay, so let's try to do a bigger one though this time because that one was that one was a little small for this technique here. And as you could tell, my other small one where I tried to blast the edges, that one didn't come out so well. But these larger ones actually did really good. So the larger ones are much easier to do. But honestly, that's just practice makes perfect uh, for, you know, refining the technique. Um, yeah, and I haven't been using it all that long. So um, I'm still m very much a novice at this. So and these flowers, I just puff them up a little bit. Um, and these are probably Recollections or Joanne's flowers little fake flowers and so you can take these and you can manipulate the petals up give them a little squish give them a little form they have some form but being shipped they're a little bit flat they flattened out a little bit so you can give them a shape again just by pushing the petals up like like so and then pushing the stamens up in the center you want to be careful with the stamens though because and then give these all a little bit of a squish you know, a cup them up like that and um, to give them a little bit of form and dimension. Um, hopefully individually, not, not all together. I was grabbing a few of them. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but like that and then push these up, push these guys up and then grab them with your tweezers. But like you get these on clearance for like not hardly any money. At least that's how I buy them is on clearance. And, um, you know, because you don't want to have a lot in your projects um, so you can keep doing more. <laughs> uh, the less money you spend on stuff, the more money you have to spend elsewhere. <laughs> and uh, more fun things you can do. So now let's see about um, here. Let's. Oh, and you don't want to leave the pins in like I just did because they'll dry out. So um, although I haven't had any problems with any of the inks, they've been great. So uh, let's hear. Let, let's see. Let's let's try to do a variegated one. So I'm going to do pink in the center on this one and then do try to do a purple outside. So I to do the, the center, I just do like this really close. I just blast it in the middle and then move the stamens over and blast it in the center like so like that. Yeah, to get it really dark. And now we're going to pop some purple on the edge. And then pop some gold on the stamens. So swap it out for the purple. But see why you need a big... I mean, it's probably even coming off here. But it doesn't bother me. Because it's not that much. So then hold it and like point out from the edge of the flower. So you don't... You only see like that. See these bigger ones? Much easier. Yeah, because what I was going for was... Just... Oops. See, practice makes perfect though, guys. Yeah, so point... Oh, 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 I was doing so good, too. But see, like, right? Still pretty. Still pretty, right? That is still a gorgeous, gorgeous flower. And so you can make them, you know, for your project, however you want. Like, right? How pretty is that? So let's pop some gold on those. Oh, I could almost leave it like that and actually add glitter. Oh, wouldn't that be pretty to the stamens? Oh, I love this when it came out so good. See, practice makes perfect. So pretty. Okay, well, oh, I don't want to add gold to it. I think I want to add glitter, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm going to leave it. So there you go. That is super fun, right? Right? So the little ones are a little bit harder. That was an all white flower, remember? And just like that one. And then look at, you can get so many different looks. So there we go there. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so now let's get on to the card. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, and don't forget to take these out. Uh, actually, I think I need this one. So let's see. Uh, and then I think I can use this. Well, I don't know if I want to put my card in this. Let me get a different one. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me get a different one. Oh, and I'm making a mess. Goodness gracious. Okay, hold on. Let me clean up a little bit and move things around. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the other thing too is I think these are water-based inks because they wash off really easy um but i don't think they reactivate after they're dry so they're not like um distress oxide or distress inks or anything like that that are a, a water they reactivate if they get wet i don't think they do that i think once they're dry they're dry i mean unless you like super saturate them but for the most part once they're dry they're dry so i really like that part about it as well um 
So that means when you layer over them, uh, for the most part, you're pretty good to go. So I'm going to grab this stencil out to show you how this works. Um, and that's the layering one. The little stringed one is the background one. And then this one here, I'm going to actually do glitter paste on top of. And I'm going to use this. I really am loving this paper pad. And so I've got a... I'm going to do a purple or grape card base. This is nice, sturdy Stamps of Life cardstock. Um, some kiwi as a layering. And on the kiwi is what I want to actually do the um, design on. And so the grape is going to be my card base. We're going to stencil up the kiwi. And then I want to layer this one out of the paper pad, the So Kind. And I had this one left from that other card that I did. And so I want to use this uh, in the center. Oh, and we might highlight that. Oh, that'll be fun. And I want to use the, in that same card kit, was the You Are The Best um, uh, sentiment with the layering. And so we're going to add that to that and then see what else we want to do. So um, let me, so... Let me grab a card base. Yeah, let me grab a card base. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do... I think we still want to do a 5x7 so we can see this really good. So I'm going to do this as a 5x7 card base. I'm going to do this panel as a 4 and 3 quarter by 6 and 3 quarter. And then I'm going to cut this one down pretty far so I can see our stenciling on the background. Um four and three quarter so let me do this one at four by six and we'll see how how we like this at four by six so four by six four and three quarter by six and three quarter and then a five by seven card base i'll be right back okay so i've got my uh card panel cut out oh i forgot to score it okay i'll score that in a second and i've got my layering panel cut out um but i actually just i forgot if you just cut your sheet of paper in half so this is five and a half by eight and a half um the cool thing is is if you layer your stencil on top of this it lines up with the edge of the stamps of life stencils because these are about five and a half inches wide and then it gives you room on the top and the bottom to tape and then the other fun thing about that is um, if you make sure that you have it says the stamps of life forward like you can read it down here at the bottom it's on this one some of them are on the top but on this one it's on the bottom um, and if you can always read that you're on the same side of each each one and your stencils will line up like like this one's backwards so if you flip it over then this will all line up like this and it says stamps of life at the bottom. Um, so and as, as long as you can read it, then it'll line up. But the other thing is, is if you, so here, let's line this up with the two sides and then I'm going to tape it top and bottom and we'll use our airbrush marker and then uh, the reason to go a little bit bigger as well is you can, um, if you go, if you do a little bit of um, schmutz or airbrushing or whatever above the stencil or the below, you'll always have a place to line up the stencil at. It makes it actually easier when you have a line up there. And then you know that your sides go to the edge. So each of these line up with the edge of your cardstock on just on these Stamps of Life ones though. Um, this technique where you go above the stencil a little bit um, is you can use for all of them to line up. So it gives you a top edge to line up to, but the width is for the stamps of life because they're five and a half inches wide. So there is that. Okay, so let me actually move these out of the way because the airbrush, you know, we had already decided that it, it gets wily. <laughs> so, um, so, so I've got that on there and we're right side up. And so I think I'm going to go green, green on green, tone on tone. And then with this one, I'm going to do white. Uh, I'm going to do this, a frosty sparkle kiss, um, it's uh, it's glitter kiss, uh, so it's cosmic shimmer, uh oh, cosmic shimmer glitter kiss. Um, the same same as the gilding polish and stuff like that, but it's just gl glitter kiss, and the frosty sparkle kiss. Or you can use glimmer paste or something like that. Same thing. It's just glitter, glitter and glue is all it is. And so let's get the green out of this marker pack. And yeah, these are the only ones I found so far that fit in in here and it's how they they're tapered to go in and fit snug into here 
Um, and we might even use the darker one as well. But watch this one and see why this, this stencil is so ornery is because of how the pieces lift like these nothing holds these and they have such an intricate detail that it is really hard but this makes it so much easier to get that to get that image down so all you do is you're just gonna press the button on start off the paper so you don't get any like super um dark spots and you can feather and um and uh, blend it as you want onto the cardstock And so you just slowly, you just hold it a few inches above and try to spray directly down. And now remember, this isn't going to be smooth like ink, but if you wanted a way to use a stencil that you have that has these intricate details that it's really hard to blend through or to get a really like to use paste on or anything like that, this is a good option to still be able to use the stencil rather than it just sit on your shelf and you never do anything with it. Super, super fun. And now remember, you have another green in this pack, so we can actually blend on this and get some even more fun. And these being water soluble, they'll rinse right off your stencils. Like how fun, right? How easy is that? So if even if you have problems like with your hands and stuff, you don't you don't have to worry about, you know, like technique or anything. You literally press a button. And like, right? How fun is that? And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the darker one too. Like how fun will that be? Um Do I wait, let's see what it looks like. Let's just see what it looks like first. Maybe we don't. Maybe we like the light green. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I'm sticking. Nope, I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because now I got ink on my table. <laughs> that's okay. It washes, right? Okay, but see, and then you go over it and you get that line and that's where you line the next one up with the edges and the next one up there. So let me wash this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, see, totally washes off. No problema. And so now, okay, so here's, so this is what it looks like. So no, it is not a smooth blend like you get with a brush um, or a sponge dauber or something like that, but it, it works well enough that you get the image and it's still super fun. Um, so it's very much a, an airbrush look where it has the splots, the, the, um, like the dots, see, see how that is. But I think that is still super, super fun. Um, and I really like it. And then it allows me to use my stencil. Uh, so now what I want to do is on this next one, I'm going to make sure my stencil of life is up and then I'm going to line it up on here. And because we have that edge there, I know where to put my stencil at as well. And so then you're also going to look and make sure your lines go through your bubbles. You know, your images line up where they're supposed to. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tape this down. And now I'm not going to use the airbrush again, although I could. Oh, I could with the dark one, huh? We could go dark green. We could go dark green. No, let's just stick. Let's, no, we want it to be subtle. It's a background. Um, so hold on. No, no, we're still going to stick. I'm going to stick. I'm going to go with the glitter, this here, and I'm just going to use a palette knife and, oh, am I? But am I? Wait, hold on. Yikes. Uh, hang on. Let me see. Because these have a sponge at the top. Um, and, oh, this one is, that's garbage. It dried out. Don't waste your stuff. Use it. Don't let it dry out on you. Oh, good. That one's still good. <laughs> see? <laughs> um, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> so let's see a better. Uh, oh, good. And the sponge is still good. Okay, so nice. Uh, sometimes these uh, glitter ones, they're not like the normal gilding polish that re-moistens. Um, sometimes um, they get really rock hard and you have to use something else or a different sponge or something through it. Um but, and actually, I think I am. I'm going to use a palette knife, actually, because that'll probably make it easier. Uh, hold on. 
Yeah, I think a pellet knife will actually be easier with this stuff. So yeah, there we go. Lesson learned. Don't just let your products sit on a shelf because you're saving them for a special day. Sometimes that special day doesn't get here fast enough and you end up not being able to use your beautiful stuff. <laughs> so take them out and use them. Lesson learned. But look how pretty. Isn't that sparkly? Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do this with the whole thing. And as soon as I get this done, um, I will bring you back for the reveal. So hang on one sec. Okay, so let's do the reveal. And then I'll go wash, wash my stencil off. Right? That was a good choice. Good choice. How pretty is that, right? So we were able to take and still use the Henri part of this stencil because we had the airbrush. And then this part of the stencil that was easy to use, we were able to do a fun little treatment through that and like make an extra special element on our card. So uh, let me let this dry and go wash this stuff. And as soon as that's done, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and scored my um, card base on the 10 side at 5, folded and burnished. So I've got my 5 by 7 card base. And um, I had already cut this panel out, so I'm still waiting for that one to dry. But um, I this is a leftover piece from when I made the shaker card for that other one. And so I want to go ahead and use these, and I'm going to put these on one on top of each other. And um, to give it dimension, like how fun will that be? Um, and I thought, um, and I want to use some of these other flowers that are in the paper pad. I cut a, a whole bunch of them out on my scan and cut, um, out of the paper pad. And, uh, but I still need some leaves. So I'm going to use the, in that card kit, you also got the A1 flower folded die set. And there's the leaves that go to this. So I'm going to cut a f these two leaves out in some of this, uh, these here. And I think... Uh, oh, and then I'm also going to use the same background paper for the background die and then find some white glitter paper for the intricate You Are the Best. So for that, and this came in that kit as well. Um, I believe it's the June one. I believe it's the Sam's of Life June card kit. So I'm going to do that. So let me do that and I'll be right back. And I think I was thinking about doing this, um, this I think about edging this with the dark purple. Like, wouldn't that be fun? Like, okay, let's try it really fast. So I think, I think I want to do this, but let's do it over the trash can. Hold on. Because I don't, but don't look at the garbage, okay? Don't look at it. It's gross. Garbage is gross. Okay, so let's, let's try to just do this. <laughs> Right? How fun! You're just adding just a touch of something without adding dimension, too. So that that is actually really cool. Which I think is so neat. You just have to go real light on the edge. If you go a little bit closer, it, def it doesn't... If you stay a little bit close to the edge, it doesn't fan out. Um, but it does make it darker, so yeah. Definitely got to practice, but I am loving it. Just loving it. I love the look of that. Hold on. Let me get this. Like, right? How fun is that? I think that is great. So let's not look at the garbage anymore. And see what this looks like. See if it goes. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. That is fun. That is so stinking fun. And then I wonder what would happen if we, so we got that, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is so cool. Um, oh, I love that. So let me, okay. So now, oh, and then don't forget to take these out so they don't dry out. Oh, I could see that as a problem. Um, okay. So let me cut my other elements out and then hopefully that'll be dry. And if this is dry, I'm actually going to cut that panel down um, to four and three quarter by six and three quarter. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cut these leaves out and I think they needed a little bit more. So what I did was is I took this, oh, whoops, this layering and I put it on a piece of 
like this and I just cut these leaves out so then I just snipped them off to get these two but I didn't like that was that that was just not enough contrast so I took the airbrush and did like so like that and I airbrushed the edges and I think that looks so much more fun like right oh here let me show you like this this is what they're going to look like and I think that gives it just that much more definition I think it's going to be really fun <clears throat> so I'm going to do that to this one I'll be right back okay so this ended up uh this is dry now and um so this this stayed uh four and three quarter by six and three quarter um which I love this like right didn't that come out really cool with those fun little dots on there I think that is just a lovely background <clears throat> excuse me I know I like had a catch in my throat <laughs> it was like what <laughs> um and so but this panel ended up it was a little too big for my flavor and I really wanted to see more of the background because I mean look how pretty that is and so what I did was I ended up cutting this down to um three and a half by five and a half yeah, three and a half by five and a half. And I thought that still looks really, really fun. Um, and so uh, the other thing was, is I decided that I didn't want the background for my sentiment. I thought it made it too busy. Um, and that's the fun thing about uh, Stephanie's um, sentiments. Generally, they're all together and you don't have to worry about, you know, making sure that you have all the pieces or whatever. This is two pieces, but you are, you and the bet and best are all one and then are the is one and it cut it all out at the, at the same time and like how fun is that right and so i cut it out in sizzix gl glitter cardstock and um i'm gonna glue that like that and i think that is so pretty and then um we're gonna add these flowers on there and i think that's gonna be just lovely so i think what i want to do though is i want to uh Let's see. I think I want to pop this one up off the grape. Yeah, or glue it down. Well, we were trying for not as much thickness for the male. So actually, I'm going to glue it all down. I think this needs pop. Nope, it's a lie. I'm popping this one up and I'm gluing this one down. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn the camera back on. So I've got glue on the back of this and I'm just gluing it straight down to the card base. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure it's even on all sides. And I think that is lovely. Like, how pretty is that sparkle? Isn't that great? And it's so cheery. Um, So now we just want to add a few dimensionals to the back of this one. And you don't need too many. It's just a cardstock, just paper. You're not trying to hold the world together here. Just a little dimension, little fun. Make sure the words are upright, though. <laughs> uh, square it up in the center. Oh, that looks that looks good, right? Okay, and now we're just gonna glue this to the top of the foam because we have it right uh, from that other card. And this is one of the stamps of life. I think this is like a fancy frame or something. Um, is what this is called. The dotted fancy frames I think from the stamps of life is what this is. Uh, and that's what I used to make that shaker with. So then I'm just going to. I'm going to actually go a little bit towards the top. Like isn't that looking so fun? Like the dimension with the foam and then the dots. Or the pop dots on that layer. Like really fun. Okay, so now, um, let's see. So now what we want to do is I want to glue um, my sentiment down. You are the best. Uh, just a little art glitter glue. Yeah, just about got it. And you don't need a lot. And gosh, isn't that great? It, it was supposed to be like so sunny today and all of a sudden it just started thundering like storms pouring rain right now I don't know if you can hear it in the background but it was like zinging off the roof like wow <laughs> torrential downpour and like black sky <laughs> 
Buddy decided he was not a fan of it and he is in here with me. <laughs> he was like, nope, uh, you have to save me if anything happens. I'm in here. <laughs> and you are dealing with it. <laughs> he is so cute. <clears throat> and then this should squeeze right in here. Isn't that great? Hold on one second. John came in and when John comes in he is all about his papa he is like nope you're gonna save me <laughs> mom's second best <laughs> oh but look how fun that is okay so let's add some dimensionals to this one um to this big flower let's see like here oh yeah it is thundering so bad out there it is crazy wow and it was supposed to be sunny. That's wild. Although we could definitely use the rain. Always love getting rain. Uh, let's see. There we go. Pop a little flower on. Right? Is that so pretty? And then we're going to snug these back here. Um, I kind of wish I would use a bigger dimensional on that one. Shoot. That's okay. Because it would have, like, then these could have nestled down. Maybe there. Yeah, that'll work. And then I just have to glue my leaves together really quick. And then, aren't these great? I love these cut aparts. And when you do them on the scan and cut, they're so quick. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. And then, um... Let me glue my leaves together really fast. Hang on. Let me glue these together. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got those glued together, and I think I'm going to do them like that, but I think I want one more. So this is all I do. I just cut off a little piece of whatever I want to use, and I put it under the spot that I want to cut. And so I'm going to run this through my, my die cut machine, and then you just trim it off is all you do. So hold on. So you end up with this. Oh, maybe it's already all... No, see, you still have to trim it off like this. So I literally just follow the little line around and make it look like a little leaf. And so I'm going to cut this one out as well, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and um, cut out the other one, glued it on, and then also airbrushed it as well. And think this is going to be fabulous, right? Isn't that way better with the three leaves on there? I think that is just lovely. Um wasn't sure how I wanted. Okay, yeah, I think I like it like that, actually. So let's go ahead and add a dimensional to that. To those, actually, these, all of these. And that's where I want it, so I'm just going to do that. I, I curled them up a little, too, to give them a little bit dimension. Um, so I need to pop these on, too. And these are Stampin' Up! dimensionals, and they, they're lovely. So I think there, and then, yeah, right about, yeah, I think right there. So we'll do one more on this one. And then I think we're about done. And that is our card. Yeah, look how pretty that is. Isn't that great? He just gives this little pop. Like, isn't that fun? What a fun card, right? I think that is just lovely. Now we could add some little, um... Of the pearls from the kit in this because there are these really pretty uh, hold on one sec okay well there's these like beautiful half pearls and that puts another color in there and I don't really want to add another one even though it's in the background I do want it to stay back there so I think what I want to do is actually add a bow uh, I'm gonna add a bow to it I think that would be really fun so let me get my hot glue gun and make a bow and I'll be right back okay it was a lie <laughs> I couldn't find a place to add it, so I'm just gonna... Oh, could I put it there? Oh, oh! Oh, I think I could put it right there. How pretty is that, right? Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue this ribbon. Oh, that's a pretty side. No, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. It's gonna be forever. And we're gonna put this right here. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Isn't that just lovely? Oh, I love it. I'm going to trim those up. But first, um, but first, 
I want to do the inside. And so I have this panel I cut. This the glitter glitter panel is a four and a half by six and a half. And then I have a green panel uh, that I cut down to whoops a three and a half by five and a half I'm pretty sure and I'm gonna layer that on top of here but I also have a this strip was left and this is a one and a half by one and a half by six and a half panel and I'm just gonna layer it right on the edge right here See, look how pretty. It's so pretty. Right there. That's where, ooh, that's where that's going to live. It, it's slip, slick. It's slick because of the glitter is what it is. So I just let that settle there. And then um, this is the back of the So Kind paper that I used. So I'm going to flip that over, put that on the inside. Well, can we do that? It's not really, there's no, we're not really using black. No, I think we're going to leave that. It makes it pop, but there's no, none on the front, so we're going to leave it off. And then this one is, this one is three and a half by five and, by five and a half. Three and a half by five and a half is what that is. And so we're just going to glue that to the center to give up, give us a place to write. Uh, this is light enough you can write on this. And I'm just going to center that up like this. And then how fun. And if we want to, we can even add a flower in here. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and add a flower. Like, braid? How pretty is that? Maybe two flowers? Maybe... What? Hold on, let me see what... Okay, here, here, Because what... Don't we have pink? Oh, yeah, those have pink on the front. So let's do like this for the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have little flowers. Right? And then we'll do that. And like that. And our, our inside's done. Okay. There we go. Right? Isn't that great? And then, oh yeah. Oh, we got to trim these off. Where's my scissors? Here we go. Yeah, these are a little bit uh, longish. Nope. Wait. You have to hold this up like this. If you want a banner, you hold it up and cut in. See? Look how pretty that is. And then here. Phew! Found a place for that cute little finger bow. And then there. Right? Like, that is pretty cute, right? Super, super fun. There it is. All right, guys. Um, Hang on. Let me get the other ones. Okay, so these are the other cards that uh, I made and shared with you. These here, Stamps of Life, Stitch Stars, and some Fourth of July. Uh, this one here uses Anna Griffin uh, papers, but the Stamps of Life seashell to stamp, and then the Sand Dollar stencil, that one there. And uh, this was the other one I made. That That's where I got that, the shaker one, right? How pretty. And uses the flower. Isn't that great? Uh, these are so cherry, and then, yeah, so then this one here, the little lemonade to stamp one, and right, how sweet is that, and then this floral pattern, sand dollar, and lemon citrus, and then the other was the hanging dot stencil that we just used, and then the We Are Memory Keeper uh, cordless airbrush marker, <laughs> Or a cordless marker airbrush. <laughs> Anyways, to make this one here. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below. I hope you guys are having a terrific week. Thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting everyone. Bye-bye.